Ihwema tambo gavava Ihwema tambo gavava Ihwema tambo gavava I grew up and was active in the black consciousness movement which was of course a, a rival to the ANC and we, we, we disagreed with Mandela, we disagreed particularly with his reluctance to engage with questions of race. And I was a, a newspaper columnist, I used to write these things in the papers, he would call me over to his office and he would wag his finger and say, you don't understand, Colella. So I was, I was, I'm glad I was a critic because it seems to me that was very, very important to him. That there was this young man who was willing to actually say, my diva, I disagreed. And what that has enabled me to do is to actually write critically but empathetically. It's very, very important that in this country today, we, 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 we rediscover what Mandela actually stood for. And what he stood for was the liberation, not only political liberation, but also liberation of the mind. Our youth, it was ironical, because the whole purpose of Bantu education was to produce a generation of intellectuals that were subservient to white uh, minority rule, mm -hmm. that would uh, serve white supremacy. In the process, they produced the most radical of the youth. They showed us that uh, we should be ahead with the revolutionary feeling, climate outside a prison. Mm -hmm. And to that extent, that was a challenge. Not that it was a challenge against them. It was a challenge as to how we should uh, uh, ourselves adopt a more aggressive approach. A biography of Mandela for me is, is much more than just the individual. It's a biography of a people. It's, it's, it's a set of ideas that Nelson Mandela stands for. But also, especially for our time, Nelson Mandela stands for radical sacrifice. For 60 years, he was at the forefront of every uh, uh, liberation movement from the 1940s with the ANC Youth League. He was in the forefront of the defiance campaign and, and the treason trial in, throughout the 1950s. He started the armed struggle in the 1960s and of course stood out as a symbol of not only actually black liberation in South Africa but global black liberation. And, and it's very, very important that it, it, we use him as a metaphor if you like, for not only the South African experience, but the global human rights experience at large. So um, there's a challenge we have um, in, 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 in celebrating Mandela, which is to dig deep into that history of ideas, that history of political modernity that he epitomized. Oh,